Hi, Anna here. Welcome to another episode of me drawing colorful gems for my upcoming book, Geologist Primer, and talking to you about all those beautiful shiny rocks we all know and love. This time we are talking about opals, which are one of my favorite stones. I think I've been telling that in every single video, but it is always true. Opals are not really minerals, they are mineraloids, and they are basically a hydrated form of silica gel, and they include quite a lot of water, uh, which actually has a big role in its magical properties, as you'll see later. Precious opals, which have very ordered internal structure, display this striking kaleidoscopic play of color. You know, this sparkles everywhere that you can see on the photos that I'm using here as, uh, as references. All of those photos are in the public domain, which is why I'm just redrawing them like I don't have a care in the world. In ancient times, opal was actually considered a precious stone because it was very scarce, just like amethyst. And just like amethyst, its commercial value fell after the discovery of relatively vast deposits in Australia in the 19th century and later in Ethiopia, United States, Mexico. I think there are there are a couple of other localities worldwide, but they are they don't really give that much yield. In 2008, actually, NASA announced the discovery of opal deposits on Mars, although it is assumed that this particular type will be rather pricey for obvious reasons, <laughs> if not actually used exclusively to harvest water on, on this rocky, dry planet. This is one of the uses of opals that can be actually done, even with our current technology, because again, high uh, water content. The history and perception of opals actually varies significantly depending on the culture and commercial availability and even literary trends. One of the biggest declines in their popularity in Europe was actually due to a novel by Sir Walter Scott called Anne of Geierstein, where a drop of holy water disenchants a spell on an opal wearing baroness and causes her demise. Prior to that, opals were considered precious. Afterwards, they received such a bad reputation of being unlucky, especially to young girls. Again, no actual folklore to it, just some people misreading a novel, and it caused a serious decline in price of opals for like two decades. However, as far as folklore goes, many wonderful stories about opal come from Aboriginal Australians. The communities living near Andamuka in South Australia, for them opal was a gift from an ancestral being. It was sent to the earth via rainbow. Obviously. <laughs> Wherever the rainbow touched the ground, stones turned to radiant, glistening opals. For the people of central Queensland, the stone is connected to the story about the weeping opal. The gem was hurled skywards during a war between tribes, and once it saw the pain and destruction caused by the conflict, its tears just fell to the ground as rainstorm. In modern occult, well, the opinions are at best mixed. There is an obvious attempt to somehow combine the thousands of years of appreciation of opals and attribution of wonderful magical properties with superstitions that arose in Europe in 19th century. Some, well, <laughs> many writers seem to basically hedge their bets, making it either lucky or unlucky for people depending on their zodiac sign, hair color and emotional state or a decade of life. So, you know, unlucky to young girls, lucky to old men. Well, most of the folklore of Opal outside of those superstitions, <laughs> basically makes opal the stone of choice for those dealing in subtlety, slate of hand, thievery and burglary. Wrapped in a bay leaf, it's supposed to bestow invisibility, grant sharper senses, an ounce of luck and a dash of dexterity. The wearer of opals cannot be restrained by any bonds and receives aid in avoiding arrests. I know some of you who would make such use of this in so many games. An exception to this is actually a silvery variation of opal known as Argeophylax. If you place it on the threshold of a treasury or other place of storing wealth, it emits a loud sound of trumpet at the approach of a thief. The sound compels the would-be robber to flee without a care for their safety, often leading to their death. 
there is plenty more to say about Opal, but I am running out of time, so let me just tell you that... You can join our Patreon to receive early access to those videos, as well as access to our private Discord community and a bunch of exclusives! Coming very soon. Bye!